in his time at Nathan's. He has reset the world record over the last two decades. Look how the record has progressed. It used to be at the land of the rising sun, Arai, and then Kobayashi and Joey have changed the game. Do we see 76, I wonder? Well, that was it back in 01 when uh, we went from 21 and a quarter. Oh my gosh. Incredible. 25 and a quarter, actually, <laughs> up to 50. Well, we're ready to go. Joey Chestnut, we're going to find out if he can make it 12 Nathan's titles or will somebody take him down? The countdown with George begins. Down with me from five, four, three, two, one, begin! We are off in the 103rd iteration of the Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. Joey Chestnut, the man to beat. Said he used to be like Verlander, right? He'd come out throwing 100 in the first, didn't right. have any gas in the tank late. Now he's decided to even out his pace, and he's got way more in the tank late in the game. No doubt. Not the Verlander of 2013. <laughs> Latter-day Vandler, uh, unbelievable athlete. Should be amazing. What a crowd out here. Americans of all stripe their visitors from abroad celebrating the dream of independence once again on the corner of Surf and Still Well, Matt Stoney off to an excellent start. Matt Suzuki and Matt Stoney right near the top. You see the early back and forth that Joey Chestnut already with six hot dogs and buns. Matt Stoney won it in 2015. The conditions were tough that day. He was able to take advantage a minute in. Chestnut and Stoney, one and two. I love this event. You know, we got to remember as Americans and sports fans, there's so much to be thankful for. The hot dog, the ice cold beer, the cutting wit of Drew McGarry. Rachel McAdams in any film, really, I'm thankful for. A little emptiness, though, with uh, without without Badlands, Lefevre, Eric the Red, and, and legs on that stage, and no Sonya earlier, but it's a changing of the guard. Well, one of our uh, favorite people is Melanie Collins, not only because she does a great job, but because she is in the splash zone, Melanie. The best spot, Adam. They say that the most rewarding shower a person can take is after spending 10 minutes in this area called the splash zone or the spray zone. This is the area where spectators are in danger of being hit with flying debris, and the only people in a more uncomfortable spot than this might be the ear themselves. In fact, yesterday we spoke to Joey Chestnut. He told us he's taken up yoga this year in an effort to help himself breathe better in uncomfortable positions. So something to keep an eye on with him. He said his flow is much more smooth with his eating style. Adam, back to you. You don't think about the technique, the physical technique that you have to worry about, but that's why if you watch that 30 for 30, you talk to other competitors, they understand why Chestnut has changed the game because of his dedication physically. 22. I mean, the dogs out of the gate are crazy. It's like runs in that uh, that Red Sox Yankees debacle. <laughs> it's like, over, it's like over London, London all over again. It's just uh, the DPMs are off the hook. I mean, what if he eats 75? What if he eats 80? What if, what if he if, hits that number? Right. My wife always says, "Stop with the what ifs." You know. I mean, what if? Uh, <laughs> what if the Red Sox had relievers is my least, latest complaint. <laughs> what if Cardi B married uh, Connor, Connor Oberst? Would that mean that? Phoebe Bridges is touring with Offset. I don't have all the answers. I have a lot of questions. So the B in Cardi B would be for Bright Eyes. Right, so right, right. Mary Connor over. Look at that incredible pace. 10 per minute. That's a 100 dog pace. Obviously, he's not going to be able to keep that up the entire time, but an incredible run for Chestnut. Esper breeded, both sitting at 2 and 3, tied at 20. It's Axe Capital like numbers in a Paul Krugman world. It's unbelievable. I'm bullish, man. I think we're going to see a new record. I'm not sensing a liquidity trap out here in Coney today, Adam. I'm going long. This is MasterCard. This is Netflix. This is beyond me. There's Esper. He's a teacher. He's a teacher at a vocational school in Massachusetts. We asked him, hey, are your students ever impressed with any of this stuff? They go, no, they're way harder to impress than that. He's got to pound through that. Uh, the hot dogs and also the crowd who's behind Joey all That's the way right. chanting his name. They want to see the record. We're not even halfway through. He's already at beyond a 70 dog pace. Still 6.20 to go. It's unbelievable. Joey Chestnut originally from San Jose, California. He was a construction foreman in his previous life. He's one of the gentlemen in this field that has taken the step up, has made this his full-time gig. He is the marquee name. He is the face of the sport right now. And he has set the pace as he approaches 40 dogs in four minutes. It's, it's unbelievable. The DPMs are just holding tight at around 10. He is the apex predator, as Sam Barkley calls him, and it's really accurate. 
There's Breeden, who's sitting in second place, trying to improve on his performance from a year ago. Could be the number two eater in the world. That is kind of more wide open, as you mentioned, as we've talked about. No Singpati. Booker is done. Eric the Red. Denmark is done as well. So that number two spot is wide open. I'm a fan of Breeden's, but his leaning and twisting is of zero use, really. I think it's like for effect. Uh, it's like Gary Vee dropping a curse word at advertising week. It's candy for the uninitiated. But I will say, Joey Chestnut is our true thought leader here today. He's the Scott Galloway of the Independence Holiday. Max Suzuki out of Japan. Number one ranked eater in Japan. He made his Nathan's debut last year. He's floating around the number five spot right now. He had to get used to more bread and meat dishes in America because they're so used to rice and noodle dishes in Japan. So this was a big adjustment for him, but a great showing in his rookie year last year. Four, Look at the numbers. I mean, he's, he's incredible pace. pace. That's a 90 <laughs> dog pace. Are you kidding me with this? Joey is unbelievable, man. One of a kind. He charts his own course. And he said this is about the range he wanted to be in. About five right. minutes in, if you're around 40 to 50 dogs, you're in great position. He's just out of the ordinary, man. Wow. It's just, it's otherworldly, man. Joey Chestnut. So now that pace is going to slow a little bit, but because he got off to such an even and strong pace, you know he feels confident to finish out the win. The question is, can he get the record again? It's uh, it's almost not a question. It's a question I can answer here just uh, a little after halfway through. I think yes. <laughs> Again, count per minute, it's a 10 minute contest, so that's an 85 and a half dog pace for Joey Chestnut, pushing himself forth. The conditions are not conducive necessarily. It is hot, he's talked to us about that in the past. It's worked against him. He feels confident and strong, even despite the temperatures and the humidity. Those, those teeth that hit is just grinding the hot dogs. I mean, he's a guy who sets his own course. As I said, he resists the daily grind. Interestingly, I was out in San Jose a couple years with me, brought me to a coffee shop called the Daily Grind. They make an amazing flat white. Solid, solid. Did they do the little heart with the milk too? Because that's my favorite part. The, the, uh, the, the leaf. Suzuki floating around number five, but this is a dominant performance by Chestnut. It is not a question of if he's going to win at 12. It is now a question of where he's going to end up at the end of 315. And the fans that came out from all around the world, not just here in Brooklyn and New York City and the Tri-State, all around the world indeed, they are not going to be disappointed. They may see history made. We may see a new world record. He's got 49 world records, including hot dogs and buns, which he set five times. Usually salmon for dinner around Sunday night, protein shake Monday, then liquids. He fasts two days before the hot dog eating contest. Stoney, 33 dogs and buns. Esper, 35. Breeden sitting in second, shy of 40. But it's Joey Chestnut's run in front of 35,000 plus. Joey looking for another title. It would be 12. He already has more Nathan's titles of his own than the combined Masters wins. Greg Norman, Johnny Miller, and Lee Trevino. Admittedly, none of those guys ever won the Masters, but I just thought the point was to be made that Joey is better at eating hot dogs than the shark is playing at golf. I want to compare cholesterol levels at the end of this as well for all four of them. Still on a solid pace. It's a world record pace as of right now. Still two minutes and 15 seconds to go. Do we get 15? The DPMs are there, I know that. The pace is there. Approaching two minutes remaining. There's no secret. I love to eat. I love doing it. I love to win. So I had to figure out my body and push it to the limit. That's Joey Chestnut in his own words talking about how he continues to elevate his game. He is continuing this world record pace. 63 now unofficial to 39. Stoney with 36. I mean, this is a yeet-worthy moment. I'm not going to yeet because I don't want to be accused of having yeeted. You just did yeet. That was Adam. That wasn't me. It was not Ridge. It's that yoke out here, though, man. <laughs> Again, that pace. Can he keep it up? He's got 85 seconds left. One minute. Breeden trying to put to uh, put together his best finish at number two here at Nathan's. He's got 45. He's got a five-dog lead on the rest of the field. But it's Joey Chestnut with 70 seconds left and 65 hot dogs and buns. He's way out in front. Yes, it is not a question anymore. It's going to be a dozen. One minute to go. 
Esper still battling for second place. Joey Chestnut, can he get the world record pace in the final 50 seconds? No one's touching Joey right now. He's the GOAT. He's so GOAT that people are starting to call other greats the Joey, like Michael Jordan is the Joey of basketball. Brady's the Joey of football. Matthew LeBlanc, of course, the Joey of friends. He is truly. But Joey Chestnut is the greatest ever. He is the GOAT. He is the Joeyest of all time. He is the only man to ever consume 70 hot dogs and buns here at Nathan's. He's done it now three times. They're waiting to see if he finishes it off and does it again. Looking to become a four-time 70 dog consumer. Nobody has done it better. Nobody has done it with greater consumption. Nobody's stomach has lasted as long as Joey's. It's a dirty dozen for Chestnut, number 12 at Nathan's. Impressed. What a champion. He did not look back, dude. Another 70 plus hot dog and bun performance on the grandest stage. But it's the margin, man. My right? goodness, the widest we've seen for quite some time. Sam Barkley going down the line, hard count, major league eating. Judges on each guy. Paramedics in place. Advance the sport safely, maintain its integrity. Again, any reversal of fortune leads to an automatic disqualification. That is the golden rule. We don't want to have to say Elvis has left the building. Joey Chestnut unofficially, 71 hot dogs and buns. Look at the margin, as dominant as we've ever seen. Number 12 for Chestnut. He'll get the title next. On this day, we set aside our table manners and cast away our cutlery. ESPN's coverage of the 2019 Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest has been brought to you by Nathan's Famous, made with 100% premium beef, available in your local supermarket. Joey Chestnut, 71 unofficially, he is about to be given a 12th belt, George Shea. Ladies and gentlemen of the world, look on his works, ye mighty and despair. He has surpassed the kings of Egypt, there is nothing in this earth that is not now a monument to this man with 71 hot dogs and buns, 12 victories in Coney Island, the champion of the world, Joey Chestnut!
For a 12th time, Joey Chestnut stands alone at the top of the Hot Dog Mountain. He is with our Melanie Collins. All right, Joey, congratulations on your 12th belt in your fourth straight. But when you walked up to me, you were disappointed in your 71 dog effort. Why? Oh, it's just, uh, I was going for 75. I always love to get a new record. You look at everybody out here, they, uh, they wanted a record, and uh, they're, they're out here standing in the heat. But um, we'll see. Yeah, hopefully next year I'll come back and I'll strategize and I'll, I'll figure out a way to do it. You came out of the gates at an incredible pace, but started to slow around the fifth minute. What slowed you down? Yeah, man, I... Uh, yeah, I came out fast, and then I, I slowed down faster than I would have liked. Uh, my pace, uh, I, I, I tried to adjust, you need to try to chew more, make it easier on my throat to swallow them, but uh, I was just slowing down. And, uh, I don't know if it was the heat or what, or just, uh, I don't know, I, I can't blame, just, I'll figure it out. But uh, I, I still love the con. I, I, I love pushing myself on this stage, and uh, I'll be back. A win's a win, Joey. Congratulations. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Melody. Great job and an impressive performance once again. While he may be a little disappointed, I know this crowd was blown away by a 21 dog and bun margin. Unbelievable job by Joey Chestnut right out of the gate. Never looked back. Another victory, a 12th. It's never been done. Once again, our 2019 Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest champions, Mickey Sudo for a sixth time and Joey Chestnut for a 12th. For Rich Shea, George Shea, Melanie Collins, the wonderful women and men of our crew, Adam Amin sings so long from Coney Island. I wish all of you a very happy and safe 4th of July.